Okay, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily check the performance of your closing wheels. Here's the tools that I utilize. A paint scraper or two of them, and this furrow digging tool from Precision Planting. You can get that one directly off the website. You don't have to have one of these, but it makes the job pretty easy. I'm gonna take my paint scraper, and we're going to place it into the soil in the trench perpendicular to the way we plant it. And I'm gonna use my other tool, and we're going to pull away from that paint scraper. What that allows me to do here is when I pull that paint scraper out of the out of the ground, it's gonna show and expose the structure of how my closing wheel sewed together that trench. And what I can do here is I can keep prying back a little bit until I find a seat. So let's go ahead and excavate that trench. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So we're planting into fall strips here, some of the best planting conditions I've ever planted into. And by exposing our trench here like this, we can see exactly how that seed uh, was covered up by the closing wheels. So in my trench, I do not want to see any air gaps around that seed. We want oxygen there. We don't want that soil compressed around the seed either. So we want to see enough oxygen there to where we can take it we can kind of pry away from that seed a little bit and it's got enough room and it's not compacted to where it's going to germinate very easily with good seed to soil contact. So this is really good job. It's doing excellent right there. I'm happy how these are working. I've got airbags on this closing wheel tail uh, for the John Deere Exact Emerge Planner set at 2.1 uh, with a lever system typically in fall strips I'm running first notch or second notch how we see it here today i am happy with this so something i don't do in every field but i do check it after a rain or if i change tillage programs